Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Guilty Pleasures and Memories, where I talk about a Guilty Pleasure song, and I, um, you know, talk about the memories it gave me. And I did forget to mention that this is part of a 31-day challenge, so um, I probably put it on the title of this video, but, you know, what can you do? So for day 14, I'm going to talk about I'll Be Your Everything by Youngstown. Is it Youngstown? Well, yeah, Youngstown. Uh, this song came out in the Inspector Gadget soundtrack, in the movie Inspector Gadget. And I remember hearing this song, like, in the trailer, and I thought it was okay, catchy in an okay way, but I didn't really think about it. And uh, it wasn't until when I was in my second year of college when all of a sudden the song just came out of nowhere in my head while I was watching Inglourious Bastards. Strange that. Yeah, I'll give you that. That's a very strange thing to think of. And so what happened was I just listened to the song and I'm like, oh my god. I, uh, shoot. I really kind of like this song. If you don't let me got me. If you need it, say you got me. You wanna be. If you do it automatic, just go, 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 gadget. I'll be your everything. I'll be your everything and more. And more. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why this song actually got to me specifically. And the song is going in my head right now. One of the lead, one of the singers is just in my head right now, just singing the song as I go along. And the movie isn't great. It's not good at all. But I just do really like that specific song, and it just reminds me of, you know, not not when the movie came out. It reminded me of when I was about to leave here to go to a friend's house who also lives in, in around this area, and we just, I listened to the song a few times, and then I went to his house, and I just, you know, me and a few classmates at his house, and we just had a good time, and the song just brought up memory, the song just came in my head, and I was just humming it all along, but nobody heard me, so yeah, there was that, and it was a fine, damn fine thing to hear, and uh, yeah, it was actually, I don't want anybody to know, because, well, nobody really knows, because nobody knows who Youngstown is, because they're not NSYNC or Backstreet Boys, I'm pretty sure, like, they only had that one song, they probably had a couple of albums here and there, but uh, that's, the song from Inspector Gadget is the song I know best know, best known from them. Um, that, and that's kind of along the lines of how I discovered Supergirl by Crystal Harris. So, yeah, there's that. But I like the Crystal Harris song better. Even, yeah, mostly because it came from a better sound, a, a soundtrack from a much better movie than these guys and their song. I like the song, but the the song, the song, the soundtrack came from a movie that was shit, but uh, yeah, that was actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll be your everything is a very boy band song, and it fits the time period because it came out in 1999 when the whole boy band craze was a huge thing. Again, these guys aren't Backstreet Boys or NSYNC because you know. Nobody knows what happened to them. They probably have maintained some credibility or are still around or doing other things, but I don't hear from them because nobody is into boy bands. All. I can't say, I shouldn't have said that nobody's into boy bands because there are boy bands that came out at the ass in the early aughts. So I can't even say that. Um... What I can say is that I really like this song because it's actually a very catchy song. And I don't want much people to know about it because it's... Ah. This brings back the memories of just, you know, being at my friend's house and just hotboxing it in his house, in his bathroom. And then coming back and just listening to the song over and over again. Along with Supergirl by Crystal Harris. So there was that. And, <laughs> yeah, that was actually a pretty damn, like, a pretty good time, in my opinion. So, uh, I don't have much to say about the song, it's just that it is kind of a guilty pleasure, and sometimes, at one point, I did want to dance to the song. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for an episode of Guilty Pleasures and Memories. Sorry, this, epi this thing is a bit short. Again, 
Most of these are shorter than the rest. I just wanted to put my guilty pleasures out there. And that's another episode of Guilty Pleasures and Memories, and I will see you soon. Thank you.